Good morning. Welcome back to Clayton Chick Outdoors. I'm Clayton Chick and this is the indoors, but I'm currently on my way to the outdoors. I am still up at Caribou Lodge, Northern Manitoba. Ooh, shut the lights off. At, uh, yeah, like I said, one of my favorite places, Caribou Lodge, Outfitters, Northern Manitoba. This is the hotel room that I'm staying in. It's awesome. It's my bed, I slept there last night. That's why it's messy. The whole room's kind of a disaster because I've been here for a few days and I have stuff everywhere. So we are about to grab our stuff, put it in the sleigh and take off. Lake trout fishing is the target right now. I want some more aggressive Lakers. They're just so much fun. Let's go. Let's, <coughs> let's go. Nothing like the smell of two stroke in the morning, baby. Ooh. Let's do it. Okay, I'm on the lake. I'm gonna change things up a little bit today. I'm still gonna fish inside the shelter. But what I'm gonna start with right now is popping a hole and getting a rod down and fishing as I'm setting up. I've already got my little area dug here where I'm gonna flip my shelter over, but I figured it's so nice right now why not drop a line down so at least I can watch for some marks coming through as I'm getting set up. So head camera on quick, main camera, and we'll be good. And I'll get set up and I'm fishing as we're going. So this is perfect. Oh yeah, <laughs> augers don't work good with the covers on them. Never, never been able to drill through the ice with the cover on it. Okay, at least now I got that set up. If I see a mark, all of a sudden I can uh, can fish for him. Now we're gonna get shelter set up. Okay, let's bring this camera inside so we can start to get it foggy. Oh, look at this mark it came up. Went to my chum though. Come on. Come on, here we go. Come on. Got him, got him. Nice, fish on, finally. Yes, 1040. That's not too bad considering how many fish I have had come through. I just dropped some more chum down and that fish actually had come up and looked like he, was, he ate a piece of chum and then moved on to my spoon. I feel like I'm gonna lose him still. It just feels like the way the morning's going and I'm marking fish and it's not catching them. I feel like now I could lose a Lose them so quick. I'm trying to loosen my drag just a little bit to give him some room here. That a boy. Nice. I've had lots of marks come through today, like lots. It's been really active. I've had two bites maybe. They've been super active charging baits and then just putting on the brakes as they get close to me. Oh yeah, come on baby. Come on, here we go. There we go. Nice. Nice Laker. I love the average size here. The average size here is so awesome. Like so awesome. Orange fin. Beauty. Oh, easy girl. We'll get you back here in a little bit. Spoon hanging out of its mouth. Oh, it's so perfect. Hardly hooked. Be a good release. One more look at that big, beautiful I guess that's not big. It's it's nice. Don't get me wrong. It's a gorgeous fish. It's not a giant, but it's probably, mm, I don't know, 20, 29, 30 inches again. Just the average size here is so good. Yes. It's taken a while. Went back to that slab spoon again, and actually, I'll have to, this one's all wet and demolished here, but that looks like all meat on there. It's not. It's uh. A lot of marabou feathers. I kind of tied some on a treble. Ooh, another mark down there. Another mark at 24 feet. 
Let's drop down. Could be the, oh, look at that. Mark, come up, just flew, flew at me. Come straight up. That wasn't even the mark that I was dropping to. Come on. Come on. Tighten that drag for the hook. Here comes another one from the bottom too. We're halfway. Come on. Oh, come on. Well, that was like insane, like right away. Oh, man. Got a little battery on my... I gotta get this fixed quick. Okay, well, that was a fish and then two marks right after. So things are looking up. Things are looking up. Well, I apologize for the no head camera footage on that one. I don't know when my camera died, but I definitely was not recording. Oh yeah, before I forget. So I made a custom treble for that. This is basically what it is. It's marabou and flash. It just doesn't look amazing anymore down there or cause it's all wet, but that's what I put on there. I tied a, made my own marabou and flash onto a treble hook there. And that's what I attached on the bottom of that spoon. Well, it's 1130. So I'm going to put a couple smokies on the, on the grill here. So I have lunch in like a half hour ish. Okay, I'm going to sit right here and just cook yourselves up nice and slow. Is that a mark on my spoon? I think it is. Oh no, it is too. Come on. I'm just getting ready to eat some lunch soon. I have a mark. Come on. He's bumping it, but he's not crushing it. Man, they've been so tentative today. Like they're not... They're, they're chasing hard, but they're not opening their mouth and eating. I'm going to drop it right past him. He's following it down. Stop though. Okay, let's try this again. Try this again, come on. Come on. Oh, he bought again. Come on. Got him. Got him. Got him. Nice. Worked for that fish a little bit. That was deadly. That was deadly. That was, whoa, whoa, whoa. He turned right around on me quick. Whoa. Come on. I hate when they're so head shaky because that's when you're going to lose them to start with right away. Oh, come on, baby. I want to get down to my transducer right away. Come on. This one's putting up a good fight. That rod where you can have a long enough rod to absorb those head shakes, it's gonna help you land more lake trout. I promise you that much. Come on, that was awesome. I worked that fish so hard. It's not that big. It's just super hard fighter. Oh, come on, come on, come on. There we go, there we go. Okay, easy girl, easy girl. Careful when that hook swinging. Don't take that hook in the, look at that, the hook is just the top of the lip hardly hardly ate it that's one of the smaller ones that i've caught here in the last few days that's pretty crazy hey don't you drip slime on my smokies there mr trout that's that's a smaller one <laughs> i'd like to take one home for a trout bake i believe and uh do like a, a catch and cook on the channel so i believe we got to be under 26 inches Mm, it's just over 26 inches, which means I can't take them home. That, that shows you how big those other ones are in terms of size. When I mean, this is the smallest one I've caught in the last few days and it's 26 inches. So that's, I haven't measured the other ones, but when I'm saying they're 30 inches or 31 inches, I'm obviously not lying, right? That's 26 inches and that's the smallest one I've caught, but that was awesome. That was really awesome. I had to work that fish a little bit more like I was messing around with the Smokies and I looked over and there was a mark on my spoon. Brought him up, didn't eat, took him down, brought him up and he ate. Mm. Mark. Mark. Oh, come on. Got him. Got him. Nothing like a mid smoky break right there. Yes. I'm telling you what, there is a 
change of attitude in these Lakers compared to the last few days where I've been out here. I haven't done just Laker fishing. Oh, I lost them. I lost them. Lost them. That happens. That happens. It does. It's lake trout fishing. So like I said, I haven't done just lake trout fishing. I've gone on some other missions and I've failed miserably. But I've been kind of jumping back and forth with some Lakers once in a while. And well, that sucked because that was a nice little mid smoky break right there. Oh, oh yeah. Some more. Oh, God, there's two of them there. There's two of them. That was crazy. There was two of them there. I didn't even see this one at first. I was reeling up to a different mark and this one come and crush me. This one feels a little bit smaller. Maybe this one I can take home to eat. Wow, what a day so far. What a day. Great day. Oh baby, oh baby. Oh geez, maybe I can't take it home to eat. Maybe I can take it home to eat. Easy, easy, yard sale. Yard sale in the shack, easy. Okay, okay. Watch that head when it swings. Don't let him get that hook. I'd rather lose him than take a hook in the hand right now. Easy, easy. Okay, we got you. Oh yeah, soak my shack. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. I gotta clean my flasher off now. Easy. Well, fish three of the day, and unfortunately, it's definitely big. <laughs> It's definitely bigger than the last one. He's got, I've got water over that lens, don't I? I'm sorry. Oh, he's trying hard. He's trying hard. He's still got lots of energy, so I'm not even gonna mess with him too much. We're gonna get him back. It's a beautiful fish. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's just not even mess with you anymore because you are have way too much energy and if I mess you with you much more, I'm gonna end up putting you on the ground. See you, buddy. Apologize to the water. Not much I can do. It's not like I'm gonna put the fish down, clean it off, and show them off. Beautiful fish though. There was two marks there when that happened. Make sure when you laker fish, it's important for all style of fishing, but especially lakers, keep those hooks sticky, sticky sharp. Oh, back up there at 40 feet. Oh, it's chasing. Oh, it bumped it. Come on, here it comes. Oh, oh, bumped it again, come on. Got him, third time, he hit it on the third time. Couple good hook sets, Clayton, got him, stay on him. I got a bigger bait on now, I got the tube jig on. So I gotta, I gotta make sure I, oh yeah, come on, come on. I gotta make sure I stay on him hard. He's got that big single hook on this, on the tube jig, come on baby. Which is gonna come out a lot more and it's gonna stay in. This is fish four right now. Unbelievable. If I land it, I, I think I lost two others. Oh, good day. Like things have changed completely. The mood around here is so much better. Just another unbelievable quality lake trout. Not big, not small, just such good quality. Come on, there we go. There we go, there we go. Oh yeah, nice, 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 nice. Easy, easy. Look at that. <laughs> Another nice fish. Just dark, dark, dark fish. We got you good, didn't we, buddy? We got that one good. He was not letting go that one. Beautiful fish. Are you burping up? Lake trout have the ability to burp. That's why you can fish for them in deeper water. Beautiful fish. Unreal. Again, I gotta get their tail lower before I let them go because I keep getting my depth finder wet. I haven't used it at all this trip, so I thought I'd go to it. The big old chartreuse tube jig. Such a good bait. Oh, there's a mark. Jeez, out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Got him. Gotta give him some good hard hook sets. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Okay, Clayton, let's get this fish. Or try to get this fish. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> This one is fighting like crazy. <laughs> my drag is so tight. I keep my drag so tight for the hook sets, like so tight. <laughs> Unbelievable. Wow, what a day. What a chain, ooh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. This is probably the biggest of the day. 
for the biggest of the day. Come on, back up a bit. Oh, he's got that spoon inhaled. Inhaled, that's a good one. That's a nice fish. That is a nice one right there. Come here, let's get you up. Look at, spoon, look at, gone. Well, it was gone, now it's hanging out a bit, but that's a beautiful fish. Another, like, I don't know, I wanna say 28, 29 inches, something like that. I'm curious, measure, I'm gonna get a quick measure on you. Okay, 29 inch shirt's bleeding a little bit. We're gonna get it back quick. Ooh, gone, gonzo. So I've been spending most of my time with my lure up in 48 to 30 feet of water. Sometimes even just holding it there and being on your phone a little bit seems to draw them in. Sometimes working it up and down has worked too. But it seems like most of the fish are coming in that middle of the water column and they'll come up from the bottom too. Don't think you always have to be on the bottom. Like, yes, I will drop it down sometimes and then rip it back up, but lots of times right in that middle is key. And that'll all depend on lake to lake. I know there's some lakes I fish where the lakers are super lazy and it feels like you gotta be on the bottom steady. But other times, you know, like today where you gotta be a little bit up high or up higher anyway, it'll, it'll change day to day. Just kind of keep an eye on what your fish are doing that day. Whether you're marking a bunch of fish in the middle of the water column, up high, whatever, spend some time in there. If you're, in, if you're in 68 feet and you're jigging in 48 to 30 feet, you'll have fish come up all the way from the bottom or you'll have fish come up high down low. They can see 30 feet in there, no problem. You'll notice when I start fighting that fish after the hook set that I, I loosen my drag quite a bit, probably like a turn, turn and a half. When I, when I set that hook on that fish, my drag is tight, tight. Those Lakers have a super bony mouth and a lot of times, it's not only are you, you're trying to bury that hook in there, they're also coming up with that lure at the, at the same, at the same time. So keeping a lot of force on that fish, that hook set, I can't stress that enough. Get a good hook set, reel down, give them one more, bury that hook, loosen your drag down and fight the fish. But if your drag slips on that hook set, chances are that hook's not even going to go into his mouth. A little bit of slip is okay, but not a lot. And sharp, sharp hooks, like I talked about earlier, I always have a file right here, handy, ready to go, touch it up every once in a while. Lakers have a bony mouth. And when you're down 30, 40 feet, obviously I'm using braided line and there's no stretch, but there's a little bit of give right in the rod because I'm using, I'm using a Mr. Big 43 inch heavy. It has lots of backbone for fighting that fish, but it also has enough to bury that hook. But I want that kind of in between where I don't want a broomstick. If you get a broomstick, yeah, you're gonna bury the hook, but the chances are the rod will have no forgiveness and you're going to lose most of your fish as you're fighting them anyway. You want a rod that sets the hook, gets it buried into them, and then keeps them connected. Like I said, this is a 43 inch heavy Mr. Big from Frostbite. They have another rod that I have coming here too. I just haven't used it yet. A 46 inch, I think it's called the Slugger. That's going to be for my, my tube jigs. Not that you can't use a tube jig, a two ounce tube jig on the Mr. Big. I just want something just a little bit more and that's kind of why they made that rod this year was, I think, for me. So you guys better start buying it because uh, if not, I might lose my job, you know. No, I won't lose my job, but I'll probably have to buy all the rods myself. Ooh, ooh. Oh, look at that working now. Holy, come on. Come on, here it comes. Got him. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I was just reeling up and I was literally gonna put my rod down too and let it dead stick for a bit. And this mark comes straight down at it. Oh, easy. Gotta stay on top of him. Hope it runs back down. There we go, come on. Nice, nice. Once it runs a bit, I can grab my transducer, but for the most part, I have to stay on top of them. They're just like so fast, up and down, up and down. You just have to stay on them so aggressively. Wow, that was insane. Man, bite is on right now. Bite is on. The average size here is just unbelievable. Man, I love this place. Average size is so good. So good. Easy, girl. Easy. Okay. We got you. We got you. We got you with a little bit of snow on you too. I'll take the hook out and then I will give you a quick rinse here. Get that snow and ice off you. Another like 28-ish, I'd say, 27 and a half, 28 inch or something like that. So good, awesome. Oh, it's so, 
It's so good. Oh, oh, oh. Kick, 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 kick. There you go. I let go of it a little bit too early, but in the end, it gave it a good kick anyway. So, wow. Bites fire today. These are honestly the most aggressive lake trout I've ever fished for. Like, it's unbelievable. Jeez, that one was right on the bottom. That's a little bit better fish. That's better fish. Yeah, it's a better one. Definitely a better fish. Oh baby. Oh baby. This one feels way different than any other one I've hooked yet. Wow, okay. Wow, I just dropped him back down. I literally just released that fish. Like it's within minutes. I don't know how my, if I got the best hook set. This is definitely the biggest one I've caught though. For sure, or definitely the biggest one I've hooked into, I should say. I just hope it stays pinned. Oh yes. Totally different fish. Just felt like right away, like felt more weight. We'll see. Sometimes, you know, they just hit it as they're going away. Don't know for sure, but it definitely feels a little bit heavier. Definitely feels heavier. Come on, baby. I thought I saw a mark there too as I was dropping down, it just kind of slid to the bottom. And yeah, as soon as I got down there, I lifted it and it ate instantly. This is the first lake trout I've caught that close to the bottom today. Come on, baby. It's just out to the side. Oh yeah, this one feels better. It's out to the side. I'm just trying to keep the line at a little bit of an angle just to keep the, so the line doesn't wear into the bottom of the ice. Come on. This one's definitely better. Or feels better anyway. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, I can start to see white down there. Ooh. Bubbles. Bubbles. Oh, it's tail hooked. Okay. Well, accidental snag. That's obviously why it felt a bit better. It's probably going to pop off of the ice, I'm sure. I have to be careful when I grab this. It is a bit better fish, but I don't know if that really counts being tail hooked. <laughs> hey, get them any way you can where I'm from, right? <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, I guess that's why I felt a little bit better. It still is a little bit nicer fish, but you can see right in the bottom there, tail hooked. That wouldn't be fun to bring in like a 40 incher like that. But at least I know it's not, uh, it's not going to bleed anywhere because it's not hooked in the mouth. It'll have lots of power to kick off. I can feel it tensing up on me. It's probably like a 31 inch fish. Biggest of the day, just hooked by the tail. Bam. I don't know if that really counts. It obviously went at the bait and then missed and then slid down his body and hooked up somehow. I'm really lucky that it didn't pop off. I'm going to try. Dragon Slayer for a bit here. Just curious. It's been the spoon's been fire though, like fire. There's no. I don't even have any meat on there. It's all just the feathers. It's all feathers. What a day! What a day! Big hook sets. Stay on them. They start just fight like it's so crazy, side to side, up and down. It's like you just have to be able to not exactly predict what they're doing but react quickly if they start to come up at you you need to reel quicker and be lifting because you don't want them to come up and create like they're if you're like this also they come up with you they're going to create slack in that rod right and they can just spit that hook you have to kind of just react really quickly to what they're doing there's like it's just all spending time with them and i'm obviously not the best angler in the world i'm probably not even the top four hundred thousand, but I've caught enough that even I know like your landing percentage is still probably, if you can get a landing percentage at 70, 80%, you're doing really good. You are not going to land every lake trout you hook. I guarantee you that. It's a mark right here. He's coming. Come on. Got him. Got him. <laughs> wow. What a day. What a day. Crazy. Come on, oh, oh, come on. Like I said, they just fight so erratically. I'm just trying to react quickly with what it's doing. Big, violent head shakes. 
And even like, I think sometimes even the, the smaller ones are harder to keep pinned than the bigger ones are, to be honest. The bigger ones, I don't know. I don't know what, what, what the proper word is to say, but the bigger ones, you can usually just seem to keep them buttoned a little bit better. Nice fish again. Wow. Burping up on fire today. Like this is, this is why I come up here are these fish right here, the aggressiveness and the average size. The average size here is just absolutely mind blowing. Come here, we got you. Maybe, almost got you, we got you. Come here. Okay, we got you, wow. Again, just another beautiful fish. Like healthy, healthy fish, one after another today. Another 30 inch fish, like it's just <laughs> average size is mind blowing. Wow, this is, this is fire. I'm not even, I don't even have any bait on my spoon. It's just that mess of feathers that I have left there, right? It just looks so enticing. That marabou dances in the water down there. So good. So a couple videos ago, I talked about barometer pressure, air pressure. I'm curious now to see what it is at right now. Okay, air pressure is 99.4. The other day, it was 103.4 or 0.5 or stuff like that. KPA, under 100. I've noticed Lakers to be on fire, lower pressure. Like, does, does that not say like, <laughs> that was a couple videos ago already, I talked about that, but the pressure was through the roof and the Lakers just didn't seem to be around today. It's crazy. I've caught eight, probably lost three or four. I have seen another 10 to dozen marks. It's been lights out today. Like by far the best day I've had up here so far. It's just mind blowing. It's funny, I have kind of noticed their pattern change today from like way up top to middle of the water column. And now it's like in that bottom 64 to 50 feet is where I'm seeing most of them. It's funny how that just changes throughout the day. You just got to keep an eye on it and read what the fish are doing and react to it, right? Like where you're going to be jigging your spoon lots throughout the day. Obviously the, the right way to do it would be have two holes and have one lower and one higher, but just with all the camera equipment, it's just impossible for me to keep up with all that stuff. I smell like a lake trout right now, for sure. That will wrap up this Laker video. It's only 3.30. I'm not going to lie, I'm going to hunt for a big walleye on some shallow humps right now in terms of hoping to possibly find something for a future video. So wish me luck, can't guarantee anything. Uh, I'm going to go out there and I'm just going to film with just the head camera. So if I catch something, there will be a video of it, but it won't be here. It'll be on the next video, which will lead into what I'm hoping to be a walleye video or something like that from up here but i've failed so far on the hunt for walleye they've been pretty tough for the most part i'll be honest but i'm not going to give up yet so thank you so much for watching don't forget get outside